Good morning. Welcome to St. Mark's Noonday Prayer. We'll get started in just a few minutes. Noonday Prayer starts on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. And you can say hi in the comments and also put any prayer requests that you have in there as well. Hi, Susan. Peace. Hi, Henry. We'll pray for Mark and Jan. Hi, Vicki Kellogg from the Denver airport. We'll pray for Ukraine. And we'll pray for peace. For those just now joining us, you can find uh, Noonday Prayer in the Book of Common Prayer. It starts on page 103. You can also go to bcponline.org and join there. It is just now noon, so we will get started. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We'll say together Psalm 19, which is found in the back of the prayer book on page 606. Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. One day tells its tale to another, and one night imparts knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language, and their voices are not heard, their sound has gone out into all lands, and their message to the ends of the world. In the deep has he set a pavilion for the sun, it comes forth like a bridegroom out of his chamber. It rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the uttermost edge of the heavens and runs about to the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. The law of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the innocent. The statutes of the Lord are just, and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear, and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, and endures forever. The judgments are the, of the Lord are true, and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold. Sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. By them also is your servant enlightened, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often he offends? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Above all, keep your servant from presumptuous sins. Let them not get dominion over me. Then shall I be whole and sound and innocent of a great offense. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. We have a visitor. Knock and it shall be answered unto you. Sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> we just finished the song. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
A reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do you have any words of wisdom? We'll continue in our prayers in the middle of page 106. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art Lord in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This is a college for peace. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength known but the strength of love, so mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered under the banner of the Prince of Peace, as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory, now and forever. Amen. In our St. Mark's prayer list, we pray for the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. We pray for Michael, the presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, our clergy, Joanna, Michael, Patricia, and Stuart, our staff and vestry. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Katanga, the province de la Iglesia Anglican du Congo. In the diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for St. Francis House and its ministries, Camp Mitchell, St. Margaret's Little Rock, St. Paul's Batesville, and all the deans of the convocations. We pray for peace. We pray for an end to racism, terrorism, oppression, poverty, pollution, and persecution. We pray for all our staff at St. Mark's, especially this week for Cedric Gaither, our sexton. We pray for all our parish ministries, especially this week, the St. Mark's Gift and Memorials Committee. We pray for the safety of first responders, healthcare workers, and those in the military, especially Megan, Sam, Breen, Marshall, Garrett, and Kyle. We pray for all families expecting children, including Jack and Melody Whitbeck and Ashley Haggard. We pray for all parishioners who are in need, sick or homebound, and for those commended to our prayers, including Cole, Betsy, Craig, Mary Sue, Suzanne, Adam, Rusty, Seal, Judy, Barbara, Billy, John, Becky, Ellen, Wes, Eva, Tom, Miley, John and John, Sarah, Barbara and William, Ellis, Rita, David, Ken, Janet, Ray, Dan, Mary, Rachel, Beth and Don, Donna and Jean, Teal, Spencer, Jerry, Francis, 
Garrel and Mary, Julia, Jeremy, Sally, Wilbur, Harley, John, Jean, Joel, Allie, Helen, Jory. We pray for all those who are celebrating birthdays today. We pray for all those who are celebrating wedding anniversaries today. We pray for those who have died and the repose of the soul of Ozell Bazell, Leola Abbott, and Dorothy Woodruff. I invite your own prayers at this time. Stephen, Paul, John. Carol, Sarah, in our Facebook prayer list, we pray for thanksgivings for noonday prayers. We pray for Harriet Graham in Mercy Hospital and Rogers. We pray for safe travels for Vicki Kellogg as she travels today. We pray for special prayers for Ukraine and for peace among that escalating conflict. We pray for Mark and Jan. For Tracy. For Chet. We pray for Susan's son, David, who's overseas. For Steve who's driving. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all. Let's see who's with us. Thank you, Susan and Margaret and Sam and Mark and Joan and Vicki and Henry and anyone else who may be out there. Thank you. I hope you have a great uh, rest of your Thursday. Bye.